What is up YouTube, HPJ here, and I'm coming at you guys again with another archetype video. So we're gonna go visit Alexis Rose from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX once again, as we're taking a look at the Cyber Girl. So the Cyber Girl archetype is built of warrior type monsters who happen to have a combination of light and earth attribute cards within it. The whole thing about the Cyber Girls is that they are one of the two archetypes Alexis uses within the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Um, from GX even to Arc V, she has the Cyber Girls and the Cyber Angels. The Cyber Girls are pretty much her warrior base. While warriors are known for being strong and courageous, the Cyber Angels are all goddesses. And they have a very holy like in appearance to them. For they are based off of Hindu and Buddhist gods. While the Cyber Girls are more based off of warriors in the aspect of being a... Um, being a gymnast or a rhythmist, uh, for the most part, very really sports like things within the Cyber Girls. So, we'll be taking a look at the Cyber Girls and all of the sport, all the cards that make them up from the Yu Gi Oh! GX series. And we have to start off, of course, with Alexis's ace monster of the Cyber Girls. This is Cyber Blader. She's a level 7 Earth Attribute Warrior type monster. She has 2100 attack, 800 defense, and her materials needed for her fusion summon are the beautiful Cyber Blade, the beautiful Blade Skater, and Etoile Cyber. So, a, a fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above fusion material. This card gains the following effect depending on the number of monsters your opponent controls. If your opponent controls one monster, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. If they control two, double the attack of this card. If they control three, negate the effects of cards activated by your opponent. The Cyber Blader, just like many cards in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, did have to be altered for, of course, this is a more kid-friendly, in quotes, game. So a lot of her artwork had to be switched up. This monster is known as one of Alexis's aces for the fact that in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series she does summon this before turning into a white um, part of the Society of Light where her deck became the, uh, the Ice Kingdom, uh, also known here in the CCG as the White Knight setup. And then there's the Cyber Angels who she gets later on within the last parts of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series, and then, and then while she's in, in the RV series, they gave her even more support. Now, let's talk about the two monsters that do make up this monster. We have Blade Skater, level 4 Earth Attribute Warrior type monster, 1400 attack, 1500 defense. Her flavor text reads, an image of beauty on the ice. This gorgeous warrior rips her opponents into pieces with her stylus a cell slasher attack. Her con now, in combination with the next monster, Etoile Cyber, who is also a level 4 Earth Attribute Warrior type monster, uh, 1200 attack, 1600 defense. If the card attacks your opponent directly, it gains 500 attack during damage step only. These two lovely ladies build the Etoile Cyber for she takes a ton of aspirations from their looks and style. She carries the red setup that is, of course, from the beautiful Cyber, as well as Cyber, as well as her skirt and hairstyle, while more so of her skin and more so of her appeal comes from Blade Skater in her look and her setup for her attacks. Um, Cyber Blader, for the most part, Blade Skater and Etoile Cyber were mostly seen from Alexis during that beginning stages of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime. Now, we also include three more of the monsters that were included into that. We start off with the lowest attack of all the Cyber Girl monsters, that is Cyber Tutu, level 3 Earth Attribute Warrior type monster, 1000 attack, 800 defense. Her effect is, if this card attacks if, you're, if the attack of each monster your opponent controls is higher than the attack of this card, this card can attack your opponent directly. Cyber 2-2, two -two, ironically enough, did have a different color scheme here in the TCG because, of course, she was heavily censored. And I also believe that her artwork actually changed um, even more. For I think her her dress, her 2-2 her tutu actually was lengthened um, here in the TCG and there was a lot less back shown um, as well. Then we move on to Cyber Gymnast, known in the OCG as Cyber Gymnastic. Level 4 Earth Attribute Warrior Type Monster, 800 attack, 1800 defense. Once per turn, you can discard one card, target one face up monster, one face up attack position monster your opponent controls, destroy that target. Then we have Cyber Prima, level 
level 6 light attribute warrior type monster with 2300 attack, 1600 defense. When this card is tribute summon, destroy all face of spell cards on the field. Cyber Prima does have a alternate full, I mean, does have some artwork in the Yu Gi Oh! anime where there is a card called Prima Light. Uh, you tribute Cyber 2 2 to summon Cyber Prima from your hand. Um, to the field if you control a cyber pre if you control cyber tutu on the field uh, in correspondence with this this is one of the few light attributed warrior monsters in the cyber girl archetype uh, which does combine really well with the cyber angels for she's light attribute as opposed to being um, earth then the last monster is cyber tutu bond this is one of the newer monsters uh, for the for the Cyber Girl series. She's an Earth Attribute Level 5 Warrior Type Monster with 1800 attack, 1600 defense. Her, her effect is you can special summon this card from your hand by tributing one Warrior or Fairy Type Monster from your hand or field. If this card is tributed for a Ritual Summon, you can target one Ritual Spell card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Giving her the appeal, she does look like a, like a angel. More so of a fairy, but because of her outstanding look in combination, she is a warrior, and she is the conjoint. She is the joining parts between both the Cyber Angels and the Cyber Girls. For her being a warrior type monster, she can tribute a warrior or a fairy for her special summon, and be able to grab a ritual spell if she's used for the tribute of a ritual monster, giving her that even more of a combination edge. The only other card that we can talk about here for the Cyber Girls is Double Passe. This is the only trap card that has ever been printed for the Cyber Girls, and although it technically isn't a quote Cyber Girl card, it does fit into their series for Alexis does use it. So, Cyber, so, uh, double up has a normal trap card. When your opponent attacks a face up attack position monster you control, make that attack direct instead. Then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the attacking monster you control. In addition, the monster you control can attack your opponent directly during your next turn. So double up has a pretty much was a card used in the Yu Gi Oh anime by Alexis to where she was able to counter a lot of her opponent's attacks by taking the damage and then sending one of her big monsters or a monster she controlled to attack their attack her opponent. She first used this card actually against Jayden in their first duel where she used this in card combination with Etoile Cyber. For when Jayden attacked Etoile Cyber with Sparkman, she triggered Double Passe, making Sparkman attack her directly. Then she had allowed Cyber Blade Etoile Cyber to attack her opponent directly, inflicting damage to Jayden and then triggering her effect. For the most part, that is all of the Cyber Girl cards and accessories that we really have to talk about um this is a very short video but i do thank you guys so much for coming and watching and i hope you guys enjoy the cyber girl archetype i will leave a link to the cyber angels in case you guys want to see that and i thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time hcj signing out take care